Number 25, maple syrup, the real thing. At Alfred University, you can explore the history of maple syrup and maybe even learn to make it yourself. Number 24, street fighting mathematics. This course offered at MIT analyzes fighting with math. Number 23, how to win a beauty pageant. Technically, the full name of the course offered at Oberlin College is How to Win a Beauty Pageant, Race, Gender, Culture, and U.S. National Identity. Number 22, Raptor Natural History, Conservation, and Captive Management. Okay, this course at Cornell University isn't really about velociraptors. It's about birds of prey. We know, we were disappointed too. Number 21, Elvish, the language of the Lord of the Rings. At the University of Wisconsin, you can let your nerdiness flow unhindered. Number 20, golf course management. For anyone interested in maintaining greens, building sand traps, or watching Happy Gilmore, this class at Tarleton State University is for you. Number 19, topics in comparative media, American pro wrestling. Offered at none other than MIT, we're not sure what exactly this course is supposed to teach you. Number 18, tight watery, or the good life on a dollar a day. At Alfred University, you can learn to be a miser. Seems like an ironic class to host at a private institution. Number 17, Furniture Making. Another baffling course coming to us from MIT. This time you have to build your own desk. Okay, that's unconfirmed, but it would still be pretty cool. Number 16, Underwater Basket Weaving. Why Reed College offers this course is beyond us. Number 15, The Joy of Garbage. Taught at Santa Clara University, this course actually goes into depth about decomposition and odors. Number 14, The Strategy of Starcraft. This University of California Berkeley offering is limited to super geeks only. Number 13, Zombies and Popular Media. Brought to you from Columbia College in Chicago, this course teaches you the basics of zombie survival. Number 12, The Textual Appeal of Tupac Shakur. At the University of Washington, you can study Tupac's gangster rapping through a sophisticated lens. Number 11, The Amazing World of Bubbles. Caltech knows what's cool. Bubbles are cool, and they made a class about them. Number 10, nothing but a G-thang. Oberlin Experimental College lets wannabe gangsters taste the thug life for a semester. Number 9, tree climbing. There are only a select few who recognize the value of climbing trees quickly and efficiently. Cornell University is one of them. Number 8, Soviet visual propaganda. At Rhode Island School of Design, you can learn all about the evils of capitalism. Number 7, UFOs in American Society. This class at Temple University analyzes the reaction of American society to UFOs and aliens. Number 6, Mail Order Brides, Understanding the Philippines in Southeast Asian Context. Supposedly designed to explain the stereotyping of Filipino women, this course at John Hopkins University does a good job of standing out. Number 5, The Unbearable Whiteness of Barbie. Given at Occidental College, this class uses Barbie to launch discussions on gender, race, and social justice. Number four, the science of superheroes. At the University of California, Irvine, this course studies physics within a context that's very familiar to students. Number three, gossip. This graduate course at Cornell University may actually have a slightly misleading title. It focuses on the work of scientists rather than magazines like the National Enquirer. Number two, the art of walking. Taught at Center College, we hear that students get credit for walking to class. And number one, Learning from YouTube. What student wouldn't want to get credit for watching YouTube videos? If you liked the video you just saw, then feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel by using the orange button in the top right. And don't forget to go check out our website at list25.com for more awesome lists.